In this video, I show you how to make this easy and comfy sweater in a size S. For all other sizes and details, you can find a free written pattern on my website. I will put the link in the description below. For this sweater, I use a weight 2 fine yarn, hook size L 8 mm. This is optional. J hook 6 mm. That's the hook I work with. Darning needle scissors and stitch markers. I make the change with the bigger hook, the 8 mm. If you don't have an 8 mm hook, you can use your 6 mm and work very loose. Start with the slip knot. Chain 51. One. I change to the six millimeter hook. Start in the fourth chain from the hook. Make a double crochet. One, two, three, four. Yarn over. Insert your hook in the fourth chain. Yarn over. Pull the loop through. Yarn over through the first two loops, yarn over through the last two loops. Our starting chains and our turning chains do not count as a stitch. In the next stitch, we work a single crochet. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull the loop through, yarn over, through both loops. And this is what we repeat double crochet and single crochet. I'll see you at the end of this row. We are at the end of row one, the last two stitches. Our last stitch is a single crochet. Now we have 48 stitches. Chain three. And turn our work. We start every row with a double crochet in the first stitch. It was the last single crochet stitch in the previous row. The next stitch was a double crochet, so we work now a single crochet. Every row is the same as row two. Start with a double crochet and then the single crochet. I will see you at the end of this row. We are at the end of row 2, the last two stitches. And the last one in the last stitch. Turning chains do not count as a stitch. And this is all we repeat. For the front panel, repeat row 2 until row 50. And repeat row 2 until row 55 for the back panel. We are at the end of row 55 of the back panel, the last two stitches.
cut the yarn fasten off here at the end of the front panel row 50 the last two stitches Now we place a stitch marker in the 18th stitch so it will be six inches these were our turning chains it does not count as a stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen this is our 18th stitch now the other side the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Row fifty one, left shoulder. Chain three, we turn the work. Now we work the first 16 stitches. It will be two stitches in front of the stitch marker. The first 16 stitches we work like we used to, the double crochet and single crochet. first 16 stitches now we will work the last two stitches together to make it easier I make a single crochet two together insert my hook yarn over pull the loop through don't finish this stitch insert my hook in the next stitch yarn over pull the loop through I have three loops on my hook yarn over all through all three row 51 we have 17 stitches now take the stitch marker put it in the last stitch row 52 of the left shoulder chain one turn our work we start with the decrease in this row so insert my hook yarn over pull the loop through Insert my hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull the loop through, yarn over, through all three. This was a double crochet, so now we work the single crochet, and then, like we used to, double crochet and single crochet. And the last stitch. Leave a longer end and cut the yarn and fasten off. Our left shoulder is ready. So row 51 of the right shoulder. Turn our work. The right shoulder is the left shoulder. We start at the stitch marker. Make a slip knot. Insert the hook in a stitch where the stitch marker is. Insert the hook in the loop. Pull the loop through. Chain one. We start with the decrease in this row. Insert the hook in the same stitch. Yarn over. Pull the loop through. Insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull the loop through, yarn over, pull the loop through all three loops. Now take the stitch marker, 
put it in the first stitch. This was a single crochet, so now we continue with a double crochet and work like we used to. And the last stitch. Row 51, we have 17 stitches. Chain 3, turn our work, row 52, we start like we used to with the double crochet then single crochet and we work 15 stitches. Insert my hook in the next stitch, so it's the decrease, yarn over, pull the loop through, insert my hook in the next stitch where the stitch marker is, yarn over, pull the loop through, we have three loops, yarn over, pull the loop through. Row 52 has 16 stitches. Cut the yarn and fasten off. And here is our neckline. The starting change, the nice straight line, is the good side of your work, and this side isn't. The good sides are facing each other. Now I turn my work, shoulder to shoulder, 21 rows for the armhole, and I put a stitch marker in both stitches. This will be our armhole. This is the shoulder. The back panel is five rows longer than the front panel. I start at the stitch marker and work to the bottom. I will leave a few rows open for the split. Four inch is 12 rows at the back panel and three inch is eight rows at the front panel. If you don't like a split, just close until the last row. until here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 rows. Now we place a stitch marker and then I close from stitch marker to stitch marker. I put security on the start. I repeat it two or three times. Joining the sides you can do in different ways. Today I choose this way. This is an easy way and because of the texture of this yarn, this easy way is fine. I just insert my needle in every row. Don't work too tight. And the last one, also secure this end, I repeat it two or three times and weave in the end. Cut the yarn. Now we do the same at the other side. Shoulder, back panel, front panel. We sew it together. Insert the needle underneath the four loops in the same stitches of both panels. 
and this we do all 16 stitches. And the last one also secure this end fast enough and weave in the end and cut the yarn. Now the other shoulder. I turn my work. Here's the split. Here's the bottom of the armhole, and that's where I start. Here up front is the shoulder line, the neckline. I start here, the bottom of our armhole. So I make a slip knot. I start in the first stitch, every row one stitch. We start with a double crochet. You will notice one of the two rows does have two holes instead of one. It does not matter in which one you work if you do it consistent. Here were the starting change. So I work around the starting change and the first stitch. Single crochet. It's two double crochet. three single crochet double crochet single crochet and this we repeat till the end of this round the last two stitches this row now has 42 stitches but I will make an extra stitch because I need an uneven number so I just make a double crochet in the same stitch so now I have 43 stitches and it is for the size S now I work in continuous rows so here was our first stitch a double crochet and I just continue in this stitch with a single crochet because I just made a double crochet this is the double crochet and I make the single crochet in every first stitch of the round I place my stitch marker we continue double crochet in the single crochet and single crochet in the double crochet and this we repeat all row and we repeat it till the end of row four so I will see you at the end of row four we're at the end of row four double crochet single crochet To make it easier, I make a single crochet two together twice. Instead of one double crochet two together and one single crochet two together, it doesn't matter for the end result. It's just easier. This was our first stitch. And now we will decrease. I insert my hook. Pull up the loop. And insert my hook in the next stitch. Pull up the loop, yarn over, pull the loop through all three loops. So this is our decrease. We work two stitches together, our first stitch and put the stitch marker. We will make two decreases. That was the first one. We repeat it in the next stitch. one two now our next stitch is a single crochet so we work the double crochet and now we continue 
like we used to till the end of this round. We are at the end of round five, the last two stitches. The last stitch is a double crochet, so we continue here with a single crochet. It was our decrease. So our last one was double crochet and we continue with a single crochet. So the next will be the double crochet. And here we can see it again. It was the double crochet. So now we work the single crochet. Repeat round two, three, four and five until round 37. We are at the end of row 37 and we have 25 stitches. Here are the two decreases. Keep working until round 49 or until sleeve measures 16.5 inch. And I still use every round my stitch marker. And I see you at the end. We are at the end of round 49. We made 11 normal rounds with my 23rd stitch. I work the last two stitches together because I need an even number of stitches for the next round. Now we have 24 stitches. For the cuffs, we work 5 continuous rounds of front post double crochet and back post double crochet. Double crochet. The yarn over, insert your hook at the right side of the stitch to the back, through the back to the front, yarn over, pull the loop through, we have three loops, yarn over, through the first two loops, yarn over, through the last two loops. Now my stitch marker in that first stitch. Next stitch will be the back post double crochet, yarn over, insert my hook at the back side of the stitch, at the right side to the front, to the left, to the back, yarn over, pull the loop through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull the loop through the first two loops, two loops left, yarn over, through the last two loops, front post, and back post. And I see you at the end of round 54. We are at the end of round 54, the last two stitches. It's the last stitch. And now I finish this round with a slip stitch in the first stitch. Insert my hook, yarn over and pull the loop through both loops. Cut the yarn. And weave in the ends. And this beautiful all-weather sweater is ready for much coziness. I hope my video and my sweater brings you joy and happiness. Stay safe. Bye.